Finally, some good news today. I was very close to telling the accountants to take a write-down on all of that stock. From Carl Teske. Hang on, are we sure this wasn't all wasn't just some elaborate publicity stunt? You know, the old concert's off, no wait, it's on again, ruse. No? Just me? Alright then. From Joe. There's a rumor online that Cool Dad was actually framed by his twin rivals DJ Like and DJ Subscribe. <laughs> oh wow. From David P. Solomon, will we get any sort of special deal on tickets? Xiao Mei and I would be interested in going. Alright. Well, that's down. Next project. Would you believe it? Color coordinating shoes. From Joe. So last night I met a designer for a major international athletic wear company. She was in Shenzhen to tour some factories. We had a really good chat, and we went and got a couple of drinks together, and, well, you know how it goes. One thing led to another, and, to turn a long story short, soon enough we had a product idea. Specifically, automatic color-changing running shoes. Everyone loves brightly colored shoes, but matching them to outfits can be a pain. Shoes made from e-textiles could adjust to the rest of your outfit automatically. The design team sent over some color data tables to get started. Oh, I wonder... Did that thing wink at me? The, the concept cat? Okay. So, button is a simple input connected to a button, and sensor is a simple input connected to a color sensor. Ink K and Ink N are simple outputs connected to pieces of fabric coated with color-changing electrochemical dye. While the button is held, values from the color sensor should be read and bucketed according to the color classification chart. When the button is released, Ink K and Ink N should be set to the values corresponding to the color that most frequently occurred during the calibration period as indicated in the smart dye color space. There will never be a tie. Prior to calibration, Ink K and Ink N should each be initialized to a value of 50 corresponding to a neutral color. Look in the supplemental data section of the manual to find the wavelength based color classification chart and the Ink smart dye color space. So, back to the manual. Now then, I think it is... yeah, here it is. Right after a list of spoiler-related keywords, of course. Okay. Confidential information do not redistribute without authorization. Intelligent ink. Wavelength-based color classifications. Light color red, light wavelength 620 nanometers to 750 nanometers. Min value 20, max value 39. Smart dye color dot blood. Orange, light wavelength, 520, or 590 nanometers to 620 nanometers. Minimum value 40, max value 49. Smart dye color, deep nacho. Yellow, light wavelength, 570 nanometers to 590 nanometers. Minimum value 50, maximum value 59. Smart dye color, chartreuse abuse. Green, light wavelength, 495 nanometers to 570 nanometers. Minimum value 60, maximum value 69. Smart dye color, Ballistic Viridian. Light color, blue, wavelength 450 nanometers to 495 nanometers. Minimum value 70, maximum value 79. Smart dye color, Cool Dad. Trademarked. Light color, violet. White, light wavelength 380 nanometers to 450 nanometers. Minimum value A, max value A9. Smart dye color, high purple. And ink dye, ink smart dye color space. There is an N axis and a K axis. Chartreuse Abuse is at 5.5, Deep Nacho is at K50 and 5, Dot Blood is at 95, uh, K95 and 5, Neutral is at 50.50, Ballistic Viridian is at K5 and 60, Cool Dad is at K15 and 80, and High Purple is at K75 and 85. Well, this will be a little complicated, but shouldn't be... I don't think it should be too difficult, although I keep saying that, don't I? Alright, so 
let's take a look at verification, but input. Okay, then, uh, so I think an MC6000, or an MC4000 here. And then another 4000 maybe. Uh, okay, so here at move 50 P1 and at move, oh wait, and P, okay, 50 P0, move 50 P1. This way they'll trigger automatically. Okay, so uh, that's greater than uh, P1, 0. If it is, then we need to move P0 accumulator. Huh. Or wait, what if... What if we have something else testing it, I think? I don't know. Here... Okay, so wait. Move P0, X1, maybe? I don't know. Or... Hmm. What if, um... Whatever is the most recent, uh... Actually, maybe not. Okay, wait. Move. 100. Accumulator. Actually, at first. Well, first. Test equal. Accumulator. 100. And then, uh. The test equal. Key. No, wait. Does that make sense? Uh. Wait. Yeah. Test equal P0. Uh, P1. Zero. Okay, and if it is move P naught X one and move zero accumulator. Okay, I think that makes sense, doesn't it? Sleep X X naught. Okay, here X X naught. Oh wait, it's gonna be two values, a K value and an N value. Okay, uh, okay, and we've got, what, six distinct ranges? Hmm, okay, I have to get the, uh, I didn't open the manual, okay, here it is, the color chart. This is gonna take some time, I think. I don't know, okay, so the wavelength values start at, or rather the sensor values go from 20 to 89, so, uh, move x naught accumulator, just less than accumulator 90 is, test greater than accumulator 19. Okay, I think I'm gonna need a 6000 maybe. I don't know, uh, okay, is move accumulator x3, otherwise move 0 x3, Set sleep x, x2, move x2, dat, then a test equal dat 0 is, uh, move 50 x3 move 50 x3 jump sleep I don't know <sighs> okay okay each color has two values assigned to it so Each is a range from, well, okay, 20 to 39 as at 19, but 40 to 49 is at 9. Yeah, most of these are from um, a specific range, but I don't know, is... Hang on, is... I wonder if mine is out of date, or if it has... Or if my printed manual has errors. No? 
No, it's matching up to that, so... Okay. Um... Okay, so... Oh, yeah, I just wonder if there's a point where it has to be reset to neutral. Um, information... It should be red and bucketed. Whenever... When fun is releasing, you can't again, it should be... Or maybe... No, I don't know. When it's released... The most free... Oh, most frequently occurred during Calper... Oh, not most recent. Ha, huh, how am I gonna get that? that done. Or maybe I could, um, uh, no. Okay, I was thinking of doing digit gets command for, um, but I don't know, because most of these are, most of these, it, what matters is the tens digit. Okay, so I think, I don't know, what, I think I need a RAM chip for this. Okay, so, I don't know, RAM chip, just send it to data, or, hmm. okay, what if, what if instead I place this here, that there, that there, then I can put the RAM chip here, use this bridge here, and put that in there, okay, so, Okay, so if it's greater than zero, no. Uh. Okay, no. Or. Um. One X one instead. One hundred accumulator. And. P naught. X naught. Okay, how am I going to do this? I'm going to keep track of that. Hmm. Okay. While well, button is held, values from color sensor should be read and bucketed. Going to color changing. I oh, know. Going to color classification. I could have something that processes an MC6, an MC4000X that maybe processes. Um, X, X, not, move, X, not, accumulator. Okay, and then I could digit get it. So, where is. Oh, I should have just pulled out my language reference card as well. Yeah, okay, here is a uh, DGT... Wait, does that make sense? DGT... Uh... Register or integer. Okay, so yeah, DGT1. And then move accumulator X2. Okay, that should be... Fine, let's see how that is, and if, uh, okay, you know what, let's just do that, so I want to see how this works, oh, wait, no, okay, I need to put in a sleep one here, sleep one at the end, okay, so, it's through, it's fine, fine, okay, 
to go on there. Moves in. So yeah, moves in a five, which is a yellow. Five, four, 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 five, six, five, five, six. Thank you.